Welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'm going to show you a sparkly card using our silk microfine glitter as well as the fitted stars and stitch stars. Uh, so this is the card I'm creating, so it's very sparkly. I think you can see it on the camera. Uh, so I'm using the glitter, I'm also using some uh, silver mirror board on there. So that's that one. And then with those same dies, I just want to show you this one. So this is a card uh, Josette created. Uh, so same, so these are the stitched stars on here. And these are the dies. So these are the fitted and these are the stitched. So they come in, uh, so they kind of interchange a quarter of an inch. So this largest one is like five and a half inch. And this largest one is five and a quarter. See, so they come, so here you get one, two, three, four, five, six dies. And here as well, I think one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six stars as well. Beautiful, beautiful dies. And then I'm using the Merry Christmas as well. So let's put this away and then I'm going to bring in my glitter tray. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, so I'm using the light gold, the silver and the warm diamonds. So putting a card on the side. So here I have a piece of white cardstock with our clear double-sided adhesive on top. So just plain white cardstock, clear double-sided adhesive. And then I had a piece of release sheet, so all the release sheets from your tape you always save and you can use that to die cut. So I die cut the stars, so this will be my masks, that I'm, or my stencils, how you want to call it. So I'm going to take off that release sheet. I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to take my uh, stars, so my stencils. I kind of will kind of copy this one if I can. So don't touch your, and of course you can do it random. So just put it down like this. And don't push it down with your fingers because we're going to press it down using another piece of release sheet. Uh, like this. Here we go. And then I'm going to take like the middle size. Put it here. And another one. You see I just kind of drop it on there, but I'm not pressing it down yet. And then I have one more here. You just see a little bit of that. And then I'm going to take like preferable a larger piece of release sheet and press this down really well because if I don't press those stars down really well the glitter will run underneath there. So just use your fingers to press it down because you don't want to touch the sticky because the grease for my finger might leave a mark on that tape. Okay, let's see, so I can hold it here where it's, so check it, I think I'm good. So now I'm going to start with the gold, so I'm going to take the light gold. Sprinkle a little bit and kind of waterfall it down. Don't try to do the whole part in one time because then it's going to be messy because then the glitter is going to go outside of your coffee filter. So I kind of brush this off already. Tap it off, brush it off, and then you can hold it like here. And now you do the other side. Kind of waterfall it down as well. And then brush this off. And be careful here that you don't brush off, that, that you don't take off that, uh, that star. So here you kind of brush away from the edge here as well, because you don't want to lift up that star from the, from the edge. And I can leave that glitter because I know I'm going to basically polish that all in. So take your coffee filter. And then I'm going to polish. So polishing, and I like to make a circular motion because then I think you get the nicest coverage. The only part I need to be careful, so here I'm going to push away from the edge. Okay, so that's enough. Then I'm going to take a swift. I can either brush it off, but... For the camera I'm just going to take a swiffer here. You see so now I have the gold color and as you can see on the card then I have some silver here and some diamonds. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to lift up and here I need to show you that like here I choose to kind of glitter small uh, stars and I put them on top of it. I could have masked it as well but to give it a little bit more dimension I choose to add little stars. So I'm going to take this off, I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to take this one off. So now I could just like color, like just use the silver, but I want that diamond in there as well. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to take the smaller ones. So I'm going to put those here. Wait, let me center them. It's always better when you stay completely on top of it, but here. So I have two extra, so I need another one. So I can just take the ones off because I'm, those are going to be silver anyway. You see, so I'm just going to take these off because it's all going to be silver. And you can see I hold my finger here on that part where that stencil is again. You see, and I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put it here. You see, so now I have those masks off. And I can use those stars over and over and over again. As long as I keep them in one piece. So press it down again, that you don't get the silver glitter underneath there. There we go. Take my silver. And you do the same. And because I polished that light gold already, brush it off a bit. And again here, brush away from the edge that you don't pick up that star there. Turn it over. And I think everybody knows by now, but if you haven't seen my glitter videos before, uh, in here I have a Swiffer, like a floor Swiffer, and that will pick up the glitter if I spill some. I think I use more Swiffers with glitter than cleaning the floor. See, so now I have my silver there. And now you're going to polish this one as well, so the same. And you see it disappears from that mask, from that stencil, because I'm, you see, I see some glitter here, but when I do this, it's going to be in that tape. And it's such a fun technique. I always say you never get bored working with the glitter, and it's really true, because you can do all kinds of different color combinations. No, you know, of course, with the stars, you can do the red, white, and blue. Which would be really nice as well, you see, so now I have that. Now I'm going to take these off. And again, I can use those over and over and over again. I'm going to take my tweezer to pick this one up. So now that's all exposed and that's going to be the warm diamond. Let me clean off my coffee filter, especially with the diamond, you want to make sure it's totally clean so there's no color in there. And I'm using the warm diamond here. Tap it off. And with the diamond, that's the only color. So I'm tapping it off here, but I'm going to brush it off over the trash can because I don't want any contamination in my diamonds. So, and instead of the trash can, I will sh do it over the lid just to show you. See, so I'm going to put the glitter back first. And now I'm going to brush it off. And the brushing, so normally I would do that on the side on the trash can, but now for the video I will do it here, so that I don't get any contamination in my diamond glitter. And then I'm going to polish this one. And then I have the, those little snowflakes, uh, the little stars. So I take this off, so that little star now is a stencil, so I can save that. Just take my tweezer, dip it in here. And I do the same with this one. So this is white cardstock with the clear double-sided adhesive on the top. Dip it in there again. So just polish that one. And this one. And then what I'm going to do first, so I have a card here. And as you can see, I have a strip of the light gold here. So that is just a strip of tape. So let me do that first. Put the tray away for a second. And I'm going to just, how I use the tape, I get that question a lot. So when I want to make a straight line, I just stretch it with my thumb here. 
Gonna turn it around for me. And if you need some guidance, you can actually make a score line in your card. That might be easy. But because I'm so close to the edge, I can think I can eyeball it. There we go. Press that down. So it's going to be the light gold. And then I'm going to trim it here. I'm going to do the same here on this side. And now I'm going to glitter that. And I'm going to use the light gold for that. Let me clean my filter off over the trash can. So make sure this is, and I try to avoid start peeling here because then you might pick up the tape. So normally I take the tweezer and kind of go a little bit from the edge I go in and then I take it off. So I don't damage the ends of the tape because when you try to do it with your finger that sometimes happens and you want to kind of keep that nice of course. So just a little bit of glitter, kind of waterfall it down, brush it off. So that's going to be my border. And now I'm going to polish this. So I'm just going to polish and again polish away from the edge. Don't polish like this because then you might pick up the tape again. So you want to have that like a clean edge over there. So that's that. Now I don't need my glitter tray anymore. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my double sided adhesive. And I can use the same as I use for the strip of gold. I'm going to stick this on here. I see I need to probably trim it a bit at the top. Here we go. So I'm going to trim this off. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Merry Christmas. So what I have here, I have a white strip of cardstock and I have the silver that I cut already. So what I like to do, so I'm taking off the outside of that silver card, the silver cardstock. Kind of lift this up. Now I can remove that cardstock from the outside. And then I use my tweezer kind of to hold that Merry Christmas down. Kind of as you go, you can do it with your fingers as well. Here I press it down again with my tweezer. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to take my tape. And it's removable tape. So I put it over here. Because I want to keep that straight. That's that. Now I'm going to put this on here. I think I'm good like this. Press it down, remove that tape. And now I see I have a few pieces left in here. So I just take my fine pointed tweezer and poke those pieces out. See, so now I have my Merry Christmas. I'm going to put that on the card, just take a piece of tape, like here, and sometimes I just lift it and kind of eyeball it. At, at home I sometimes use a ruler as well. Yeah, I think it's good, like that. And then I uh, die cut three of the stitched uh, little stars, like those are these, out of the silver cardstock. And it is silver, I don't know if the camera catches it as silver. Because sometimes with that mirror board it turns totally different. So I'm going to put a little piece of double sided adhesive on the back. And if I want to I could do foam tape as well. But because that cardstock is a little bit heavier already it gives kind of a 3D effect already. And let me put a little piece of tape on the back of the small stars as well. And the other one is going here. I might need to trim that off a bit. And then this one goes in here. And then I can either choose to trim that off on the side, but in this case I kind of like it that it comes off a little bit. So I leave that one. And this one, of course, I'm going to trim at the bottom. You see? 
and that's your card uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and download the project sheet and i've also suggested a couple of videos i think you enjoy see you next time Thank you.